don't know how many pieces in one tier. Well, maybe we should make it two tiers then, just so it looks more wedding-y. <laughs> but not too wedding-y. I'm not really a wedding kind of girl. And I don't want those little miniature bride and groom things on the top either. They just, um, they just creep me out. Okay, so, um, how much is that? How much? For a cake? Yeah, but it's a cake. It's only going to get eaten. No, 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 I do want it. Yes, of course I want it. Yes, I'm, I'm sure it'll be lovely. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. Sorry. All set? Um, yep. No news from the lab yet? No, I did tell them it was urgent. Oh. Well, so what shall we do while we wait for those results to come through? Should we go over the notes again? Or? Well, we don't find any new information in there. There is nothing to indicate that the hematoma was our fault. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough for Mrs Grant's daughter, though. She obviously wants someone to blame. Mm, and as we were the last to see her. Mm. Has Mrs Grant got a GP? Oh, she sure does. But can I remember his name? Mm. Well, it must be in notes somewhere. Here we go. A Dr Clements. Shall we give him a call? You know, I never met a medical mystery that could beat me yet. Potts and Valentine on the case. Yeah. Hi there, it's uh, Dr Sarah Potts from Shortland Street Hospital here. Two apple juices, thanks. Sure. Hey, thanks for helping me this morning. It's a bit embarrassing when a mother doesn't know what to buy her own son. <laughs> Trust me, most parents don't know what to buy their kids. My mother bought me tennis briefs for Christmas. Tennis briefs? Mm. I don't actually play tennis, and even if I did, I wouldn't wear them. They weren't the most attractive things. Not something to catch the boyfriend's eye on a romantic evening, then. <laughs> Only if I wore them on my head. <laughs> So, how long have you and Craig been together? A couple of months, but I've known him for years. I used to babysit his kids. Oh. Which sounds kind of dodgy. No, no, as you get older, the age difference doesn't matter. Exactly. So, have you been holding a candle for him all these years? <laughs> no way. Don't freak out, but when I was young, my mother and him kind of had a thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it sounds kind of icky uh, when you think about it, which is why I don't. Gosh. <laughs> he certainly gets around your man, doesn't he? So, um... When did he manage to fit in his fling with my son's fiance? It burned bright, but it didn't last long. Not once she met my spunky boy. No, your spunky boy was waiting in the wings for quite a while, actually. Was he? Yeah, he kind of picked up the pieces when Craig doofed his ex-girlfriend behind Sarah's back. I'm not exactly painting a wonderful picture of Craig, am I? Sounds like Sarah's made the right choice, is all I can say. I'd have to agree with you there. Being the girl who's ended up with Sarah's leftovers. <laughs> And Craig's changed, really, he has. I mean, it all comes down to compatibility. Craig and Sarah, wrong. Sarah and TK, right. Me and Craig, right. Happy endings all round, then. I'll drink to that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Ah, uh, no top screen yet? No. Okay, thanks. Okay, the answer has to be in here somewhere. He is hoping, because we are during Chris's office and exactly... Oh, no, no, no. What? They're all normal. Which means we still don't have an answer for Mrs Grant's daughter. You know, I read an article recently about ciprofloxus and warfarin iteration. So? So, if she was taking warfarin... Well, do her bloods indicate warfarin? No. Do her notes indicate warfarin? No, they bloody well don't. We haven't got time to be playing what-ifs, Sarah. I was just thinking out loud. Well, don't. It's not helping. Don't speak to me like that. We're running out of time, Sarah, and you're sitting there... Craig Valentine? Yeah, I'll be right there. GP's notes have arrived. They're out of missions. I'll go. There you are. Cheers, Ron. Hey, how are you and Craig going? Oh, barrel of laughs, thanks very much. Watch uh, it. You're the one who nearly demoed me. Sorry. Alice. I need some advice. Look straight ahead when moving. Helps to avoid walking into walls or people. I'm serious. Claire is trying to steal my man. Really? Yes, really. She's a desperate, brazen little tart, and I need to know what to do about it. But come on, Alice. Do I ask her to move out? Do I have it out with her? Maybe give her a slap like you did that time to Tanya? No, I probably shouldn't give her a slap. I'm not like that. But there must be something else I can do. Do you trust your man? Sorry? If you trust him not to go there, no matter what any woman tries, you've got nothing to worry about. I think I trust him. Well, if you do, great. If you don't, what are you doing now? Okay. Thanks. I'm 
I'm sorry about before. What? Losing my patience. Oh, hey, I should be used to it by now, I guess. I'm sorry about that too. I can be a real shit sometimes. Um, do you want me to agree with you or something? No. No, I... I just want you to know... You know what, Craig? <laughs> Hey, Craig Valentine. Are you kidding already? Don't panic. Be there in a tick. Is that Chris? Yeah. Well, what are we going to do? We don't have any answers. Um, if the top screen isn't back yet. We are not going to do anything. I'm going to do it alone. No, no, you're not. Off the hook, Sarah. Excuse me, but she was my patient too. I'm not going to bail on you. I'm the boss here, okay? It's my responsibility. I'm sure you've got better things to do than sit through a protracted health and disability commission meeting. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, bugger. Meeting with the celebrant. <laughs> Have fun. I better go. Good luck, Craig. Bye. And um, thank you. Now, wedding vows. Uh, another cup of tea. No thanks. Shall I try calling her again? No, we could reschedule. Oh, I'm sure she won't be too far away. It's weird that her phone's off. I mean, she's a doctor. She should have. Well, perhaps on. she was called to an emergency. Except it was a day off today. She was working on this admin thing, so I doubt that. You know what? You're right. Uh, let's reschedule. Oh, same time tomorrow. Sweet, sweet. And again, I'm really sorry for wasting your time. But try not to worry. You'll be okay on the day. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Yvonne, it's TK. <laughs> Hey, could you please put me through to Craig's exam? Thank you. Yes, Yes, what? Oh, hi, TK. Yeah, yeah, I'm just on my way now. What? Well, why couldn't she hang around? I mean, I'm, I'm only 34 minutes. Right? No, please don't be angry with me. You know how important this was. Yes, I know our meeting was important too, and that's why I sent Craig up to face Mrs. Grant's daughter on his own. Yeah. Oh, my God, is that it? Yeah, yeah, sorry, TK, I've got to go. Bye. I want to lay an official complaint. Well, of course, you're entitled to do that. No, no, it's OK, Chris. If Mrs Lawson wants to lay a complaint against me, then she should do so. But I'm sure that the Health and Disability Commission will give her the same answers that I have. And if they don't, I will sue you. I will take it to the media. I will make sure you aren't allowed to practice medicine again. Mrs Lawson, I have every faith in... No, wait. I'm sorry. Sarah, we're in a meeting. Yeah, I know that, but I'm thinking... Oh, damn it. This is a farce. I'm leaving. Uh, no, please. We should wait and hear what Siri has to say. Um. Someone's given the credit card a bashing. Excuse me? Not so fast, Claire. What was this morning about? Mm, I don't want to talk about it. You're angry with me. Is this because of what happened between us? Because if you still got issues, we need to talk about... The only issue I've got, Karen, is you and your storytelling. What? Well, they say if you're going to be a good liar, you need to have a good memory. But you don't have a good memory, do you, Karen? And maybe if you're clever, you might keep a record of your lies. Maybe you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Maybe if you actually talk to me and well, Why would to... I want to talk to you and waste my time? You're a liar and you're dodgy as hell. And if Libby doesn't want to see that, then that's her problem. But me, I don't want to know you. And then I accidentally knocked some of the GP files off the table, but it turned out to be a happy accident. Sarah, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, does your mother take aspirin at all, Mrs. Lawson? This is a waste of time. I keep a close eye on all of my mother's medication, and no, she doesn't take aspirin. Are you absolutely sure about that? I already answered this question yesterday. Twice. It's just that it says here... Fourteen months ago, your mother visited her GP and when asked if she was taking aspirin, she said no. But bloods that were taken that day showed that she had, in fact, taken it. That was fourteen months ago? Well, what? based on that, I checked her toxicology screen, which finally came back. And, sure enough, there was a moderate level of salicylates. 
Uh, in other words, aspirin. Which, when taken in conjunction with ciprofloxacin, would have caused the bleed. It is extremely rare. There have been a couple of cases. Mm. And if we'd known that she was taking both, then we would have checked her clotting profile. Which would have shown the risk, meaning we would have been more likely to prevent the bleed. I I'm still not happy. With what exactly, Mrs Lawson? I just don't know why my mother would take aspirin without telling me. Well, maybe she didn't think, you know. Some people take one a day as a precaution. Maybe one of her friends put her onto it or something. Maybe. I'm very sorry to have taken up your time. I'm just glad we could get to the bottom of it all. Thank you. You beauty. Nice work, Sarah. Sam, he just snuck up and jabbed me in the ribs. I didn't sneak up on you. Kieran, I'm not going to beat around the bush because I absolutely trust you. I thought we had dealt with this, but Claire obviously still has a crush on you. Uh, no. Maybe she did once, but not anymore. But she does. I don't think so, Lynn. Boys are so stupid about this kind of thing. The girl is gagging for it, Karen. <sighs> Sorry, but she is. Well, I, I still think you're wrong, but even if she is, it makes no difference between us. Really? You're not even slightly interested? No. Because I know some guys that are really into that trashy look. I like your look. I like you. Good, because I trust you with all my heart. You don't know how happy that makes me. Thank goodness someone's home at last. Wine o'clock and no one to join me. Sorry. Water. Good run? Yeah. How was the meeting with the celebrant? Oh, it didn't happen. Hey? No, Sarah got held up at work. So when are you doing it? Mum. Oh, all right, all right. I'm just asking. TK. I know I'm never going to win Mother of the Year, but you know you can always talk to me if you have any problems. Why would I have any problems? What? Craig Valentine. No. Nah. His name's always cropping up. Um, you don't know anything about it. Okay? Yes, I do, actually. You and Sarah got together after he did the dirty on her. No, that's not when we got together, actually. She took him back after that. What? Look, it's history, OK? Listen, sweetheart. I know that Sarah's fond of Mom, you. Mum, don't patronise me. Loves you even. But you deserve more. You deserve a woman who worships the ground you walk on. Someone who is going to put you before anything or anyone forever. And you don't think Sarah's that woman? Do you think she is? <laughs> Do you really? You see what happens when you play nice. We get results if you'd continue to blame each other. Who knows what would have happened to Doug? Oh. oh. Um, Say by the left. Bye. Um, sorry, sorry, I've gone a bit mental. It must be the, um, the adrenaline. Yeah, well, felt good winning, didn't it? Yeah, sure did. What have you lost this time? Keys? Mobile phone? Um, no. I've been meaning to give you this. What's that? It's an invitation to my wedding. Short notice. Well, I didn't know if I wanted you there, you being such a prat and everything. Oh, so I'm not a complete prat anymore? No, you probably are. But I'm in a good mood with you at the moment, so that means that you better take this while it's still on offer, because if you don't, then... Yeah, 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 you're right. I am the biggest, dumbest, most foolish prat to have ever walked the earth. Because <laughs> I had everything I ever wanted. And now I've got to watch her marry somebody else. Sarah. Next week, Sconnell examines the controversy surrounding gun-running claims made against two Irish government ministers in 1970. That's at 7.30 on Monday night here on RTE1.